Hey guys, in today's video, we are going to work on Java assignment. We create a program that receives the student's data from the user and we displays the data in table format. So let's see how we can do that. Let's get started. We have IntelliJ IDEA opened. Let's create new project. Click on new project. Click on next. Click on create project from template. Next. I am going to name it as students dashboard finish so our students dashboard project has been created now let's create student class so just expand this student dashboard explorer src right click on cwt package new java class name it as student let's create our three properties that are name age and location so we are going to create private variables private string underscore name private int underscore age private string underscore location we are going to initialize our class variables at the time of object creation so so let's create student constructor student it takes the three parameters name age and location so string name int age string location so we are going to initialize our three variables with the values that we receive at the time of object creation of student class so this dot underscore name equal to name then this dot underscore age equal to age and this dot underscore location equal to location let's give semicolon here so since we declared three properties name image and location as private variables we can't access them outside of the student class so in order to access the name age and location we need to expose them we are going to create the getters methods public string get name and just return this dot underscore name the same way Let's create the getters for other two properties. Now we are done with creating our student class. Now let's go to main.js. So as a first step, let us take the input for number of students. So for that, we are going to use the scanner class. Scanner. The scanner class is available in java.util. So you can see that as soon as you write scanner, java.util scanner import is added by IntelliJ idea student scanner equal to new scanner and here we need to pass system dot in cool now let's take the input from the user student sc dot next int because we are going to take the number type number of students equal to give a message like s out enter number of students make it just so let's use just print not print ln so after that let's print the number of students that we received so num students so this is for checking only then just you can run it by clicking on this main run main otherwise build completed there we go enter number of students let me move this window to the right side so move to right top enter number of students so I say 2 so we are printing the 2 after receiving the input so it's working so let me give some separator like colon now we should implement the logic to receive the input for number of students so for that I am going to use for loop int i equal to 0 so till i less than the number of students then i plus plus so increment i each time so here i am going to create the scanner one more time so this time i am going to use the different approach to create the object so we can use the var keyword and sc scanner equal to new scanner system dot in now let's receive input for name age and location so first let us receive the input for name so for that s out enter name string name equal to so sc dot string input we can use the next line we can just 
copy string variable that is location so location and this time location and finally we are going to receive the input for age so this time it should be int next line is used for string values so we need to use the next int for the numbers age so once we got the values for all three values let us create the student object so where student equal to new student and it takes the three values right name age and location cool now let's print the values of name age and location that we receive from the user control d and this should be age and now let's run it number of students i say one enter name krish location usa age 33 here you can see that chris 33 usa right now we should print the user's data in table format so for that we should have the student information saved in one variable right one global variable because in the for loop if you try to print it what will happen each time it will come and each time it will print the table so that is not the correct way so once we done with receiving the input for all the students then we need to print the all students data in table format so here i am going to use the list and type student students equal to new array list so in order to use the list we need to import a package that is import java dot util dot list we need to add the student object to the students list each time students dot add method is there on the list then just simply student so outside of this for loop so here we are going to implement the for each student from the students so here you can simply say even std also and students so now let's write code for table format so as out so as a first step i am going to give these iphones like horizontal line s out and this time we are going to use printf method not the print line because we need to format the header so percentage 20s percentage 15s and this percentage 15s then give us the header name in upper case student name comma age comma location after the header we need to have one more line right so then let's let's have the s out so just we need one line then we are going to print this before we running it let us remove the s out that we don't require so now enter 2 and name location india and age 33 location us and age 33 there we go now we have student name age location and student name age location so now we have the headers two times right so we need to have this logic outside the for loop right we don't want inside the for loop sorry for that just to take last three statements so here now instead of the headers we are going to use the std dot get name comma std dot get age std dot get location so after that we will be having one horizontal line like this that's cool so i am going to delete it entire thing just click on this symbol so enter number of students in this time i enter 3 and name krish location india age 24 then adil location pakistan so now we got the data in the table format this way you can complete the assignment by creating the required variables and the constructor and by creating required getters methods and then we are just using the scanner class and getting the input and just while printing it so it is very easy isn't it